Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about prime and composite numbers from 61 to 70. It's very simple and easy. Now let's move on the video. Prime and composite numbers from 61 to 70. We already learned about prime number and composite numbers. Prime number has only two factors. But composite number has more than two factors. How to find a number prime or composite? We have to find all the factors of a number. Then only we can say that number prime or composite. Let's see for 61. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So 1s are 61, 61. 61 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is not even number. So, 61 is not multiple of 2. 61 is not multiple of 3 because when we add the digit of 61, which is 6 plus 1, 7. 7 is not multiple of 3. So, 61 is not multiple of 3. We learn table 2 to 12. There is no combination of 61. So, at last, 61 multiple of 61. Which is 61s are 1, 61. Factors of 61, 1 and 61. We learn a number get only two factors. That number is prime number. So, 61 is a prime number. Next, 62. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 62, 62. 62 is a multiple of 2. Because in the one space is even number. So, 62 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 62 by 2, we get quotient 31. Here, 31 is a another factor of the 60. So, 2s are 31, 62. 62 is not multiple of 3. Because when we add the digit of 62, which is 6 plus 2, 8. 8 is not multiple of 3. So, 62 is not multiple of 3. At last, 62 get one combination. That is, 31 is 2, 62. We have to stop here because 2 and 13 occurred earlier. So, now we got all the factors of here, 62. 1, 2, 31, 62. Factors of 62, 1, 2, 31 and 62. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 62 is a composite number. Next, 63. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 63, 63. 63 is not multiple of 2 because in the own space is not even number. So, 63 is not multiple of 2. But, 63 is a multiple of 3. We learn divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 63, which is 6 plus 3, 9. 9 is a multiple of 3. So, 63 is a divisible of 3. When we divide 63 by 3, we get quotient. 21. Here, 21 is a another factor of 63. So, 3s are 21, 63. 63 is not multiple of 4. 63 is not multiple of 5. 63 is not multiple of 6. 63 is a multiple of 7, which is 7s are 9, 63. 63 is not multiple of 8. We know 63 is a multiple of 9, which is 9s are 7, 63. Now we got all the factors of a 63. Because 7 and 9 have occurred earlier. So now we got all the factors of 63. 1, 3, 7, 9, 21, 63. Factors of 63, 1, 3, 7, 9, 21 and 63. 
VLAN, a number get more than two factors, that number is composite number. 63 is a composite number. Next, 64. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 64, 64. 64 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is even number. So, 64 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 64 by 2, we get quotient 32. Here, 32 is a another factor of 64, which is 2s are 32, 64. 64 is not multiple of 3 because when we add the digit of 64, 6 plus 4, we get 10. 10 is not multiple of 3. So, 64 is not multiple of 3. Next, we have to check with 4. 64 is a multiple of 4, which is 4 are 16, 64. 64 is not multiple of 5 because in the 1's place is 0 or 5. That number only divisible by, divisible by 5. So, 64 is not multiple of 5. 64 is not multiple of 6. 64 is not multiple of 7. We know 64 is a multiple of 8, which is 8s are 8, 64. Now, we got all the factors of a 64. Because both the factors are same. Here, both the factors are same. So, now we got all the factors of 64. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Factors of 64. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 64 is a composite number. Next, 65. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 65, 65. 65 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is not even number. So, 65 is not multiple of 2. 65 is not multiple of 3 because when we add the digit of 65, which is 6 plus 5, 11. 11 is not multiple of 3. So, 65 is not multiple of 3. 65 is not multiple of 4. We know 65 is a multiple of 6 because in the 1's place is 5. When we divide 65 by 5, we get quotient 13. Here, 13 is a another factor of 65. So, 5s are 13, 65. 65 is not multiple of 6. 65 is not multiple of 7. We know there is no combination of 65. At last, 13 are 5, 65. Now, we got all the factors of 65. 1, 5, 13 and 65. Factors of 65, 1, 5, 13 and 65. We know a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, you know 65 is a composite number. Next, 66. 1s are 66, 66. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 66, 66. 66 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1's place is even number. So, 66 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 66 by 2, we get quotient 33. Here, 33 is a another factor of 66. So, 2s are 33, 66. 66 is a multiple of 3. We know the divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 66, which is 6 plus 6, we get 12. 12 is a multiple of 3. So, 66 is a divisible by 3. When we divide 66 by 3, we get quotient 22. Here, 22 is a another factor of 66. So, 3s are 22, 66. 
66 is not multiple of 4. 66 is not multiple of 5. 66 is a multiple of 6. We know 6 or 11, 66. When we divide 66 by 6, we get quotient 11. 11 is here another factor. So, 6 or 11, 66. We know 66 is a multiple of 11, which is 11 or 6, 66. Now we got all the factors of 66 because 6 and 11 have occurred earlier. So now we got all the factors of 66. 1, 2, 3, 6, 11, 22, 33, 66. Factors of 66. 1, 2, 3, 6, 11, 12, 33 and 66. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 66 is a composite number. Next, 67. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1 is 67. 67. 67 is not multiple of 2. 67 is not multiple of 3. We know there is no combination of 67. So, at large, 67 multiple of 67, which is 67 or 1, 67. Factors of 67, 1 and 67. We know a number get only two factors. That number is prime number. So, 67 is a prime number. Next, 68. We know 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1 is 68, 68. 68 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1's place is even number. So, 68 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 68 by 2, we get quotient 34. Here, 34 is a another factor of 68, which is 2's are 34, 68. 68 is not multiple of 3. We know the divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 68, which is 6 plus 8, we get 14. 14 is not multiple of 3. So, 68 is not multiple of 3. 68 is a multiple of 4. When we divide 68 by 4, we get quotient 70. 17 is a Another factor of 68. So, 4 is 70, 68. 68 is not multiple of 5. There is no combination of 68. So, at last, 17 is 4, 68. Now, we got all the factors of 68 because 4 and 17 occurred earlier. So, now we got all the factors of 68. 1, 2, 4, 17, 34, 68. Factors of 68. 1, 2, 4, 17, 34 and 68. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, you know 68 is a composite number. Next, 69. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1 is 69, 69. 69 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1's place is not even number. So, 69 is not multiple of 2. 69 is a multiple of 3. We know the divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 69, which is 6 plus 9, 15. 15 is a multiple of 3. So, 69 is a multiple of 3. When we divide 69 by 3, we get quotient 23. Here, 23 is a another factor of 69. So, 3 is 23, 69. After that, there is no combination of 69. So, at last, 69 multiple of 23. Which is 23 are 3, 69. Now we got all the factors of 69. Because 3 and 23 have occurred earlier. So now we got all the factors of 69. 1, 3, 
69. Factors of 69. 1, 3, 23 and 69. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 69 is a composite number. Next, 70. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 70, 70. 70 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is even number. So, 70 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 70 by 2, we get portion 35. So, 2s are 35, 70. 70 is not multiple of 3 because when we add the digit of 70, we get 7 plus 0 equal to 7. 7 is not multiple of 3. So, 70 is not multiple of 3. 70 is not multiple of 4. 70 is a multiple of 5. Because in the ones place is 0, so 70 is a multiple of 5. When we divide 70 by 5, we get quotient 14. 14 is a another factor of 70. So, 5s are 14, 70. 70 is not multiple of 6. 70 is a multiple of 7. We know 7s are 10, 70. 70 is a multiple of 10, which is 10 are 7, 70. Factors of 70, 1, 2, 5, 7, 10, 14, 35, 70. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 70 is a composite number. Here we got prime numbers and composite numbers from 61 to 70. Okay. Prime numbers of 61 to 70, 61 and 67. Composite numbers of 61 to 70, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 68, 69 and 70. I hope you understand the concept of prime and composite numbers. Thank you for watching. And please share your feedback and comment in the video comment section. And please comment down below which step have you reached today. This is for the today's video. Thanks for watching.